Well, many thanks for subscribing to the Buzz UG and in case you haven't, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Remember, our target is still standing at 20k subscribers and right now we are talking about 15k subscribers, but I'm very hopeful that we will get there very, very soon. Otherwise, get into the gist of the stories I got for you right now. Uh, so yesterday, I reported to you that uh, musician Stacia Mayanja's health condition is worrying and she's currently admitted in Nakasero Hospital. But this was after a video surfaced on social media and in that video, she was saying she's been put on oxygen. Yes, that is the video. That is the video. <laughs> Now, Fifi Da Queen is very disappointed in someone who recorded that video and posted it on social media. She says, you didn't have to do that. I mean, like any other sick person, uh, Fifi Da Queen says Stacia Mayanja also deserves her privacy. Guys, let's be serious. Stacia, about the moral do, come on, yes. Gavan, to see the kid, baby, to be a very million, but you need privacy and go on to. Naomi, to a more rough chance of two cacao dual your station wari. No recording, no later, no way to see. Embeda, it is an anaculagaban to me go respecting a privacy avant. We back with Angamu dual, you want to get the show bees. Over against the Kulaba Mur what day. Mulaka Kutula meet my Javan to Abamania, and to Abu, we have a judgment station about the Murad and Mobamur what day. She's been worse for long. Ninga to be posting and gonna go. Now you go to work and I'm dual. You're just a katikitiki. No proving and since you go against it, you're about day off from day one to Kugambechi. What's the gear? I'm about to privacy. Nadara Mumbere and B. Motama. But now Uganda Motama. However, if you look at this video critically, it looks like she recorded herself and she was trying to communicate maybe to her fans or maybe to her family that she's been put on oxygen so that they can pray for her. And that is why a section of Ugandans on social media are disagreeing with Fifi Da Queen this time around. I don't know what you think. Do you think someone recorded that video or Stacia Mayanja recorded herself? Anyway, whatever the case, we continue to wish her a very quick recovery. Well, in other news, if you have been on social media recently, you must have seen the news of a Ugandan businessman who died on a plane to Entebbe Airport from Dubai. Now, this big man was identified as Yusuf Kulembira, who was aboard the Ethiopian airline. Now, everyone has been questioning that what could have caused the death of this big man because he looked very healthy and very okay. Now, the post-mortem that was conducted to confirm the cause of his death is finally out. Now, this post-mortem indicates that Mr. Yusuf Kulembira died as a result of a blood clot. Yes, yeah, so that was the cause of his death. Uh, that's very unfortunate news right there and uh, may his soul rest in peace. Now, in other news, Agnes Nandutu, horrible member of parliament who is also state minister for Karamoja Affairs, has clarified that she did not fall in the bathroom as it was recently saturated in the media. However, she says she was diagnosed with uh, a blood clot, uh, but uh, it was treated and she's very fine right now. Now, horrible Agnes Nandutu also says a blood clot in the lungs is not something easy to overcome, but the doctors did their best and treated her very well and she's now okay. But guys, it seems this health condition called blood clot is a very big problem right now. I think our health ministry need to do something or maybe sensitize the public about this condition. Otherwise, I really feel like it's a deadly condition that needs urgent attention. Yeah, so th those are some of the stories that I got for you right now on the Buzz UG. Of course, I'm on ground uh, gathering more stories for you. Uh, what you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. You know, don't forget to share the link to maybe your friend so that they can also stay updated about what is happening in the country. Thank you.